26 year old female that essentially presented with fever, fatigue, difficulty in swallowing, was diagnosed with pharyngitis, and was given penicillin in the office. Five minutes later, she started hyperventilating. And all of us know what's going on at this point. Penicillin, five minutes later. She has an acute allergic reaction and even possibly could go into anaphylaxis. Now she's hyperventilating at about 35 per minute. Her systolic pressure drops to 60, heart rate's 140. She's anxious, she's got now eutycharia, she's itching everywhere. And the office calls 911. Now, suddenly she gets hoarseness of the voice, and soon she collapses in the office and becomes unconscious. So at this point, the question is, what are your options? 911 takes about 13 minutes to arrive. On arrival, they intubate, they started the ACLS protocol, and essentially, she's got anoxic injury today and living in a nursing home. What should we look for? What sh how should we prep ourselves? How should we prep our clinics, offices to be better equipped? So my question is, is a pulse ox an effective way to monitor the evaluation of a patient's respiratory status? The answer is no. And the reality is, once you hit a low pulse ox, you're hypoxic, you lost the window of opportunity. You're done. It's too late. 